she was crazy. The one I was with before her, Tammy, when I slept with her, I didn't know she was a virgin. She was fucking crazy. <laughs> she stuck her head in the stove, turned the gas on, said she was going to kill herself. Tried to jump out the second second story window of the bathroom. I had to stop her. Um, she come over to my brother's New Year's Eve and was pissed off. Started smacking me in the face and shit like that. I picked her up, set her outside the door. She kicked the fucking glass pane in the door, cut her ankle and stuff like that, you know? Jumped in her car, floored it as fast as she could and drove right into a telephone pole. Crazy. Yeah, pretty much so. You don't really, really think about it. I mean, you see a lot of people, you hear a lot of, a lot of it on the news, people die and stuff like that, but when you're younger, you don't think it can happen to you. School I went to, I had like maybe, it was me and one other kid that was white and it was all black school, so they had a problem with me being white. <laughs> There was one girl in school, a black girl, her name was Leslie, and she was the one that was an instigator all the time, would always get her friends to jump us after school. And that's when I used to start carrying a knife to school. I carried a lock blade, and then one time they come after us, and I flicked it out and asked them who was first. And that stopped that shit. Hey, he's doing this for school. Nah, he's, he's doing, doing this for that. school. Can I have a beer? Yeah, you can do well, anything. Absolutely. He wants you to have it a beer. It gets too fucking crazy. I'll he get up. He wants you to have a beer. <laughs> Don't be goofy. <laughs> Hi, Logan. They had told me stories about how he gets all fucked up and drools on himself and talks like a lunatic, but I was kind of prepared for it, but when I seen the actual effects of it, it was hysterical. <laughs> Did you uh, see Marilyn? Oh, Marilyn. Hey, you got Marilyn. Fucking undefeated. Everybody was running. Oh, yeah. Penn, Penn State kicked their fucking ass. What was it with? 39 14? 35 14? Ohio State. Almost, they're not even in the Big Ten. Not even in the Big Ten. Oh, rank. fucking Ohio State sucks. Who cares? <laughs> hey, Ohio <laughs> State almost got beat oh, by oh, oh, oh. Any 11 men. 11 men can beat any 11 men, but you got to come to play. How about that day? That yeah, day. When the game's over. Yep. Dude, I'm gonna feel so bad for and you. And I'll tell you what, you know how you know who's gonna win? I'm gonna feel the so bad. The one with the most score. <laughs> you know. Well, one with the most the most score. Who's gonna win? Whatever. He gonna win. The one right. with the That's most. The brightest score. thing you said all day. <laughs> <laughs> I have an older brother, Les, a younger brother Tim, and a younger sister Tamara. Mom and dad, because my dad was a big drinker, and my mother went to church a lot. When we got older, their relationship was more strained, I would say. They didn't really, they just lived together because of us kids mostly is what I think, so. My dad was pretty much, uh, he was pretty much the one that took care of my siblings and stuff a lot, like when they needed money or something like that, they would call him or my sister, he lived with my sister. She kind of took care of her and her husband financially. And it was, I mean, it was a big, big hit on the family when dad died. I mean, he was, I was pretty close with him. I used to talk to him all the time, um, go fishing with him, stuff like that. So it was, it was pretty bad. <laughs> Fuck, this is all I got left on me. I can't even get it out. Oh, I don't want to wear fucking shit anyway. What do you mean, Fuzz? Fuck, I had enough of that. We'll see what's going on about this fight. Let's go see you guys in a minute. All the hairs and stuff off of that, you got the flavor. <laughs> I have one boy from another relationship. She took off with him to Florida. And then I had my son, Jeffrey, with, with her. Um, when we moved in together, she had her daughter was eight and my son was maybe six years old um, when we lived together. Jeffrey's back in Ohio. Um, he was here for a while. He moved back down there, closer to the family and stuff like that. Pretty much smoking weed, getting in trouble. He gets caught for it. I never did. It's his life. He can live it the way he wants. I told him, I explained to him, you know, things he should do and shouldn't do. And, but whatever he does, it's his decision. I'll always love him. Honey, 
asshole won't lose my neighbor. I can't take that motherfucker. I don't like him. He's a peterhead. He stole Fuzzy's girlfriend. Stole my girlfriend, Mayor. And I gotta work with a guy uh, for crying out loud. I don't want him living in my hood. Now he's getting lazy. He don't even want to come to work. <laughs> yeah, Mary. It, you know what? He's an asshole. He's from Ohio. I hate him. Yeah. Good hearted guy. No, guy. honestly, I mean, when yeah. I found out he wanted to move where I was living, I thought, wow. You know, because he was ready to make a total change in his life, which he did. I met Mouse through work. Uh, I told him I was looking for a place to live. Um, he mentioned up here in the trailer courts. So I come up and talk to John. And when I moved in here, he introduced me to all the people around here. And I'm naturally a friendly guy. <laughs> Everybody hated him, my friends, because he had a big mouth. But he settled down quite a bit. I and think he we're, stole Fuzzy's girlfriend. I, I think, yeah, he stole my girl. But I think we're getting used to getting used to him. Now. Nah, good heart to do anything for you, but sometimes he just drives you nuts. I hate his feet being on top of my countertop with no socks on. <laughs> yeah, he stink. He didn't want to catch the other night. What's a bird? Yeah. <laughs> He's not. He crosses his legs like an idiot. Oh, I, I know you're saying Nah. I feel for you. He's baby. a good dude, though. He is a good dude. I like him. I love him. Fucking right. He's a good dude. I've always been somebody that helped people all the time. And I don't, I don't really know where I got that from. Like, if somebody needs something, people would need a place to stay or something like that. I'd let them, let them live with me and shit like that. Um, I don't know where in the hell I got that from. I mean, most of the time, it's not like I had <clears throat> gotten a fight or anything like that and somebody helped me that, that made me do shit like that. But I've always, like, felt bad for people. But I don't, I just don't know where it came from or what made me be like that. Like, when I was in school, I was a skinny, skinny kid, but somebody would pick on kids or something like that, and I played football. So when, say like one of my friends, all the friends I had were what they called hoods back then, and I played sports with jocks. But uh, there was one kid, he was, you know, a skinny kid and stuff like that. He'd sit on the back of the bus and they would come back there and tell him they was in his seat. So I got in a fight with one of the wrestlers on the school bus because I told him it wasn't his seat and he, he could sit wherever the hell he wanted, so... But I've always, I've always been like that. I didn't like, I didn't like a bully. I didn't like people bullying people or making fun of people. Shit like that. It just pissed me off. So I still don't like it. Oh man! And the tooth fairy has spoken. Fuzzy, what?